What's up, YouTube? This is Lizard Day Two One here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3 on any iOS 4.3 running device. So this could be the iPad, uh, not the iPad Two, just the iPad One for now. Uh, the iPod Touch 4G and 3G, iPhone 4, GSM only, and iPhone 3GS. So before we get on into this, the first thing I want you to do is plug in your device like I have here and when iTunes open up if iTunes doesn't automatically sync and back up your device go ahead and right click on the device and choose backup so while it's doing that we're gonna download a bunch of things first thing we need is Pwnage Duo 4.2 itself and that will be in the video description a tethered boot folder which will also be in the video description and that runs on terminal because this uh, jailbreak is in fact tethered unfortunately and we need a uh, 4.3 firmware bundle or IPSW. So in order to get that, we're just going to navigate to the site here. Video links in the video description, and we're going to select the 4.3 software we need to download. So if I've got an iPod Touch 4G, I'm going to do iPod Touch 4G 4.3. If I've got an iPhone 4 4.3, then I'm just going to click that one. You get the point. Go ahead and select that model and choose download. I'm just going to be using the iPod Touch 4G for this example. So we also need one more thing, and that is iOS 4.3 uh, firmware bundles in order to patch Ponage to a 4.2 for this to work. So those will also be in the video description. And while that's downloading, what we're going to do is double-click the Ponage to a 4.2 DMG, DMG, and it will verify it. Now, we can't physically edit the Ponage Tool DMG itself, so what we need to do is drag that into the Applications folder in the Finder. So mine is just down here, located conveniently in my dock, and it's, it's just going to transfer. So now I'm just going to open up the Finder itself, and eject the DMG, navigate to Applications, and you'll see Ponage Tool right there. Right-click and choose Show Package Contents. In the Contents folder, go into Resources, and then scroll down to Firmware Bundles. You'll see a bunch of firmware bundles there. So now what we want to do is open up that firmware bundles folder and look for the iOS device that you're going to jailbreak for. So in this case, we're using the iPad Touch 4G as an example. So I'm going to double click on that. You'll see a zip file. Now we can't put the zip file in here. What we need to do is extract it. And in order to extract it, all we need to do is double click on it and, it, and your Mac will automatically do it for you. And there you go. Now you've got a bundle. So now you simply just drag it into there. And now we've successfully patched Photoshop for the iPad Touch 4G. So you could do this for several devices. For example, if I also have an iPhone 3GS, all I need to do is double click for a newer old boot ROM and drag in. It's as simple as that. All right guys, so once your IPSW has finished downloading, we are going to now launch the Ponies Tool application itself from the Finder. Click OK. I choose Expert Mode and then choose the device. So in this case, iPod Touch. And now we're going to browse for the IPSW, so double click on that. And there it is right there. And Pwnage Tool is going to recognize it. And then we get a bunch of stuff here. So in general, um, this is just a bunch of stuff. You can customize this on your own. But what we really want to do is build it. So we're going to save it to the uh, desktop there to avoid confusion. And we're just going to press save. It's going to build the IPSW. And be patient as this process takes a while. And you may have to authenticate sometime during the process. All right, guys. So now we're going to go into DFU mode. I actually failed at it the first time because I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, we're going to go on, go on and just press the yes button. So we're going to prepare to do this. Press and hold the home and power buttons. 10 seconds. Prepare to release the power. Release the power button and continue to hold the home button. And iTunes should give us a message. Alright, and there we go. That signals that we are in DFU mode. So now what we want to do is we want to restore to our custom firmware that we created with Pwnage Tool. To do this, press and hold the option key while clicking the restore button. You will see this box come up. What you want to do is look for the custom restore. So here, in order to recognize that it is a custom restore, it says custom restore, as long as you saved it as a, as a custom restore. You're going to press choose and uh, 
Pod and iTunes will do the rest for you by restoring to your custom firmware. All right, guys. Now that we have successfully installed the uh, custom firmware onto our, our device, now we need to boot Tethered because this is a Tethered jailbreak. So to do this, what we want to do here is we see our custom firmware on the desktop. We want to duplicate it. Now, while it's doing that, make sure the uh, iOS, devi iOS device is plugged into your, com into your computer and turned off. So we're going to slide to power off. Next, what we're going to do is change the .ipsw to .zip, .zip. Press enter, and it'll ask us if we want to keep IPSW or use zip. So we're going to use zip and double click on it so your Mac can extract the file. Now we see a new folder has been placed on your desktop. So what we want to do is now we go into the tethered boot copy folder and on the desktop create a new folder called tethered boot. Just like that. In the tethered boot folder what we want to do is copy that into it and go into this folder that we just created. Go into firmware, go into DFU and copy both these things into that. Now what we want to do is go into terminal and you see my little cheat sheet over here. Type in sudo negative s. And type in your password for the computer. Alright, now we're ready. So what we want to do is put these into terminal. And make sure that they are uh, at the right directory. And now what you want to do is paste them into terminal just like that and once again make sure that they are set to the right directory otherwise terminal will give you command or directory not found alright there we go now we gotta put your iDevice into DFU mode so we are going to hold the home and sleep for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then release the sleep but continue to hold the home button for about 10 more seconds but it may take longer and there we go iTunes has recognized and now terminal has recognized all right guys so that's about it we have successfully jailbroken a, a tethered version of iOS 4.3 so once again that every time you have to boot you do have to do it in this tethered state unfortunately but soon hopefully that there will be an untethered jailbreak so I hope you liked this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.